So I'll come back to another vlog. <laughs> it's Monday today and yesterday we got the whole house clean so it feels really good. Um, and I'm just preparing breakfast because in a bit we have um, our birth team appointment. They're actually coming to the house. Yeah, it's a baby. It's a baby. Um, yeah, so we actually have our birth appointment, a birth team appointment today. They're coming to the house, which is really nice. That's what I love about midwife led care. Um, I've had OB care before with my first pregnancy before I switched over to midwife, midwife led care. And um, midwife led care is just so much more personal. Um, they typically do home visits or you can go to you know their clinic and they talk about more than just your vitals and baby's vitals you get to talk about like nutrition how you're feeling they know your family so it's really nice um i just prepared some light stuff on the end baby gaudy finger gaudy finger okay so later in the day now we're in the other room because i'm doing laundry and our appointment went really well it's so nice because you get to just talk with your birth team um when you have like midwife care and we talked about nutrition we took my vitals checked on baby who's doing really well and um talked about like birth plans and just stuff like that so it's really great um we're gonna fold some laundry and then Tomorrow's a beach day, so I'm actually going to prepare all of our food for tomorrow. So, I'll show you guys that in a bit. Come on, Courtney. Hi, baby. wraps and cheese quesadillas, peanut butter and jellies, string cheese, a bunch of fruit, these vanilla wafers, and veggie chips. I'm also going to pack some hummus to dip these in and some cucumbers but I'm going to cut those up tomorrow and I have banana bread baking right now that I'm going to bring. Yes baby, hola cotoluca and then banana bread that is still baking. We have almost everything ready to go. Plus bacon and Bella's bowl and their treats. Bacon. That feels good, now I know why we have this. Bacon.
day now we actually went out to eat and we don't really go out to eat a lot so this has kind of been a lot in two days you get oh do you buy baby <laughs> i also noticed okay so lately, um so this is off topic but we noticed that our daughter doesn't like when we sing abc in English lately, so I sing it in Tagalog to her, and she was fine. Like, if we sing it in English, she does this fake yell, and I sing it to her in Tagalog, and she loves it. So, very interesting. I feel like she's starting to differentiate. differentiate. Like, I know right now it might be weird for her um, with me speaking English to a camera um, because we typically do the one parent, one language thing, so I speak to her in just Tagalog. My husband speaks to her in English, and then obviously, like we, she'll hear us speak to each other in English. But um, we do the one language, one parent thing, and um, yeah. So that uh, that's just funny. Hi, uh, hey, baby. Sweet Um, but yeah. And then what was I gonna say? Oh, we went out today again. It was really hot, so I didn't really film that much. We were planning on going to a different restaurant, but they closed early because we didn't realize today is Labor Day in the Philippines. Our Labor Day in the U.S. is a different day. It's in September. Yeah, it's in September. So, we didn't know that. But yeah, <laughs> we're going to try to go there one of these other days. And then we want to go back to the... <laughs> Gordy! We wanted to go back to the beach soon and yeah hopefully that's not repetitive but if you know the philippines it's really hot it's not even like summer summer yet but in fahrenheit it's been like 97 to 101 degrees and then it's humid so you add like five to seven degrees for real feel like the other day or yesterday was 98 degrees but if you check the weather app, it said it felt like 106 degrees because of the humidity. Um, and if you know us or if you followed along, you know that we used to live in Tampa. And it's not nearly as hot there. It's like high 80s. And in the summer, summer, it'll get like 90s, but not like anywhere like this. So I feel like now when we go anywhere else, we're going to be like, it's so cold. <laughs> because, yeah, it's just really funny. I also have been able to edit more and I'm, I'm really excited about vlogging more because um, I don't typically, okay besides like client work, I don't have anyone that needs to watch our daughter. Uh, obviously my husband does when I have a call or some work to do on the laptop, but um, usually I'll edit on the laptop, but I've been editing on my phone because I got an adapter for my sim card for my phone so i'm able to upload directly to my phone and edit from my phone and i actually have an easier time editing from my phone versus on the laptop so very excited about that and i feel like it's just going to change the whole game for me with vlogging and um besides that i want to vlog more regularly i think i do a mix of talking i don't actually talk a lot to the vlog lately i feel like i show more but sometimes i'm like i just don't want it to be boring or repetitive but um it's nice too because i have clips some that i i don't that don't make the vlog that are just nice for um uh -oh, for memories and i'm out of focus so yeah all that to say i think i'm going to close out the vlog because um i just want to edit this and upload it and i think this weekend we have some things that we're going to do um we're going to Pangasinan, Pangasinan. So I'll show you guys that. Um, I don't know if, how long we're gonna stay there and then we're gonna go to the other side of the island. Um, we're on the main Luzon Island. So yeah, very excited about that. It's a little cooler on that side because it's right on the water. 
um, it's like sample weather so yeah very nice I don't mind the heat though I actually I like the heat a lot and I prefer it but yeah thanks so much for watching if you're new here subscribe and we'll see you in the next vlog bye